This is our machine. We called it Big T. T for teamwork. And you have your chain and sprocket. Load. Another set of chain and sprocket. Another chain and sprocket. Wheel and axle. And your incline plane. Push the vehicle forward and it drops the load down. It's uh, the wheels move the gears, which are attached to a chain sprocket. Then there's a belt on this side, which moves the pulley down and it drops the load. And also goes backward, but it's not as efficient. Our project was the Noah Senior because I couldn't think of a name. No, I want to take credit for it. <laughs> so. What our four simple machines are, we got our second class lever, then we got chain sprocket, the gears, then another pulley, and then wheel and axle. Uh, gear train, chain and sprocket, third class lever, and clamp point that doesn't count, so then we use the... Okay, so um, our first machine is the second class lever, which turns the uh, sprock, gear and sprocket, um, turns the pulley, which causes this pulley to lift up the lever, which causes the car to roll down the incline plane. <laughs> so we have input here, and it runs. A small gear train which is connected to our chain sprocket. So after that happens, the chain sprocket goes down. It's connected to two belts which go down because it wasn't long enough with one set of belts. So we had to go down here and then to get it to keep another belt going, we had to put another chain uh, and sprocket there which is connected to the second belt. And then so this goes across to the second belt. And then when it's going across, it gets to the end. Then the red thing we put on the bottom gets to the plane to get onto the incline plane. Oh, double plane. <laughs>